Hello, Calgary Catholic, Brian Zumlis, your Chief Superintendent here. I want to begin by welcoming everyone to the 2021-2022 school year. I know today is the first day back to all of our staff. A huge thank you to our 12-month employees who've been working hard over the summer months, and special welcome to our 10-month employees, our teachers who are back today. So this is the first blog of the vlog of the school year, and I am here joined with Dr. Hugh. Now, Dr. Hugh is the former medical officer of health uh, for Alberta Health Services here in the Calgary region. I've known him for well over a year. He's been instrumental in helping provide guidance as, and support as we navigate through COVID-19. He's also an adjunct professor at the University of Calgary, and he works uh, closely. He's the lead for an organization called 19 to 0. And so without any further ado, I want to turn it over to uh, Dr. Hugh to tell us a little bit about himself. Welcome, doctor. Ah, thank you so much. And uh, just wanted to say it's a real pleasure to be working with Calgary Catholic. As, as Brian mentioned, we, we got acquainted uh, during COVID and it's, yeah, it's been uh, quite a long time since last March when it all started. Um, but I, you know, it's, it's, it, it's been challenging and trying, but I think that you know, working together, we sort of can get through this. Um, as Brian mentioned, I am a public health uh, specialist, formerly medical officer of health. I think I've been involved in pretty much every aspect of the COVID response from the early days when, you know, we were really worried about the first few cases to, you know, the big vaccine rollout. And, and now when we're a bit more open and schools are reopening, um, you know, it's, uh, it's always been really good working sort of with the, the school divisions, the school districts. And I, I think, you know, everybody I've worked with has done such an amazing job during fairly trying times for everybody. Well, thanks for that. I know you've been busy over the summer, and I understand that you were the lead medical officer who helped provide guidance for the Calgary Stampede and its opening. Yes, yes. No, I, I was. I, I provide advice to a, a, a wide range of organizations um, around anything having to do with COVID. You know, I, I think that you know, at the end of the day, COVID can be quite a complex subject and lots of people have questions. And so whether the stampede or different companies, universities, school boards, I try to help where I can. No, I really appreciate that because I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a doctor of education. And to, so to be joined by someone like yourself, who is a physician, who is well-respected and known in this area is just outstanding. And so the first question that I want to ask you, and sorry to put you on the spot right away, but no. masks, tell us, uh, the position from the medical field, all about masks. Yeah, so, I mean, look, there is a huge amount of evidence showing that masking can reduce transmission of COVID-19, um, especially in indoor setting where we know transmission is 20 times higher than is in the outdoor transmission. Now, masking is one of the best ways, I mean, vaccination is probably the best way, but it's one of the things that we really need to do, I think, to make sure that we can reopen schools safely, particularly in the context of the Delta variant, particularly in the context of the fact that, you know, many well, kids under 12 are not yet eligible for vaccine. And so certainly right now in Calgary, uh, in Alberta, masking, I think, will be critical to ensuring that schools can reopen safely for students, their families, teachers, and all the staff. No, thank you for that. We did a thought exchange here in the district with our parents and staff. I have about 75% of people that are supportive of masking, but there's, you know, 25% where there's anxiety and they're unsure about that. What advice or what, rec what, what kind of words would you like to share with those individuals? Yeah, no, I mean, and I, I, I think so many things um, related to COVID, there's been, you know, almost an overwhelming amount of information floating around the media very hard to interpret that information. Um, for many things, I, I, I think things have become relatively politicized. And so, I mean, the first thing I would say is that, you know, I'm myself, uh, Brian, we're here to sort of support you and answer the questions that you have around masks and the concerns that you have. Uh, but secondly, you know, masking is very, very, very effective. You know, we've been masking in the healthcare setting for a while now, but I do remember when we weren't masking in the healthcare setting at the very dawn of this pandemic, and, you know, it, it's been a night and day difference in terms of transmission. And I think that any questions, any concerns, I think they're all valid, uh, but know that the, the evidence for masking is just frankly overwhelming. And we don't want schools to close again, right? Like we want people to go to school in person. That's, that's really, really important. No, thanks for that. I know that even myself, I'm not a huge fan of masking in that 
you know, for kids and wearing it myself, it can be uncomfortable, but I do it because I know it's going to protect myself and protect my neighbor. And as we go forward together, uh, I'm asking those parents who are concerned that do have that anxiety around this to please be patient. Like, I hope this is a temporary thing. We're going to be reassessing, reevaluating. We know that we're at the beginning of this fourth stage. And, and we've done this before. Like, we've navigated through three wow. waves of the virus wearing masks. And it just makes yeah. a lot of sense that we keep doing it through this fourth wave. When we come out of the fourth wave, we can take a step back, reevaluate, and move forward again. So here's the, I'm going to give you, Dr. Hugh, the last kind of word here. So what advice do you have for our parents and our staff going forward? Yeah, no, I mean, in terms of sort of practical things, I would say that, you know, maybe the most important thing people can do is get vaccinated if they haven't been, um, you know, get your kids vaccinated if they're eligible for the vaccine. The more you, you know, when you get vaccinated yourself, you not just protect yourself, but you also protect those around you. And, you know, as Brian was saying, the same applies for masks. Right now, plenty of people cannot get the vaccine. And, you know, even if they could with the number of cases we have, it is important that you wear a mask when indoors, certainly, um, you know, if, within Calgary Catholic schools. Um, a lot of the other stuff that we continue to recommend, like, you know, washing your hands, being a bit careful about where you go, um, they all hold true. You know, all in all, you know, the, the pandemic has sort of dragged on and I think it's now close to month 18. And I think people are a little bit wary of, of all that sort of happened but you know on an optimistic note look like here we are now we are open which is really really good much better than having lockdowns much better than not having in-person school and we can get through this um if we get through this together working together with um calgary catholic providing medical advice uh working with brian uh you know we are here to help we're here to answer your concerns and by working together we'll get through this together well, thank you, Dr. Hugh. I know that uh, you've prepared a letter that we will be, be, be distributing to all of our staff and parents in Calgary Catholic, uh, so much appreciated. Uh, I want to leave everyone with this note. This is uh, our faith theme is faith, hope, and love abide, and the greatest of these is love. We are entering the year of hope, and so I hope everyone stays well. And when we say something like that, hope has to result in an action. And so if we hope everyone stays well, what actions are we taking to keep people well? And one of the actions that we all need to take is to wear that mask. So please be, uh, you know, please embrace this. I know it's not gonna be easy, but we're doing it for the safety of our students, the safety of our staff and our visitors. And I look forward to many more blogs in the future. A huge thanks to Dr. Hugh, who will be supporting Calgary Catholic with medical advice as we move forward. So God bless everyone. Have a great day and thank you.